The oldest stories ever told are written in the stars. Nebulation. The Titans were powerful, but their reign was ended by their own sons. F***ing ramps. F***ing one yard short. F***ing Kurt Warner. It was Zeus who created man, and man's prayers fed the gods' immortality. What kind of f***ing system is this? So were the gods not already immortal? Did Zeus invent immortality? Hey, I know, I'll make men, but let's make something up that they can do to feed our immortality. I know, prayers! Those are fun! Into this world, a child was born. But don't let the Jesus imagery smack you in the face during this 3D presentation. <laughs> Perseus. That's one way to do character introduction. I am your father, Perseus. Whoa, wait a minute. How did Spiros know to name his son Perseus? I guess you're going to tell me that he had heard it in the wind or something? 2010, the year studios thought Sam Worthington would become the next Brad Pitt. In 2018, more people know who Kevin Sorbo is. But hey, at least we got man on a ledge out of him. Another day! Nothing! I mean, you can't expect to find a dead woman and a newborn baby every day. Oh, you meant fish. One day, somebody's gonna have to make a stand. One day. Somebody's gonna have to say, enough. This is the part of Greek mythology that has always confused and excited me. There were actually people who just one day said, F it, we're gonna fight some goddamn gods. And they did it, and they f***ing won. And most of us are stuck with the boring Christian god and the water to wine miracles and the people getting to eat fish. Oh, to be Greek. Just like the day you came to me, the storm brought me right to you. But on the day you found him, there was no storm in sight. I know you have questions, son. I wish I had the answers. I do know who Kaiser Soze is if you ever need that info for some reason. The Statue of Zeus. Magnificent. Awesome. We're just in time to watch soldiers cut it down and watch it crash into the water right next to us. We're such a cinematically convenient fishing boat. Who are they? Soldiers from Argos. Argo, f*** yourself. They declared war. War against the gods. I realize the gods are all knowing, but jeez, that was a quick reaction. Do they just have fallbacks set up at all possible defying gods locations? Also, Hades shows up as multiple winged creatures from the fucking ocean. There seems to be two things wrong with that. The ocean is Poseidon's zone, and wings and water don't mix. I learned that when I apprenticed with Satan. This movie also decided to say, F Poseidon, we'll leave that sh to Percy Jackson. Ah, Aqua Voldemort! Aquamort? Wait a minute, so Hades knew which men to kill after the statue got knocked into the water, but decided, eh, f it, why not the innocent people on this fishing boat, too? Won't be the only instance of he survives this f***ery in this film, so let's just go ahead and tack on 20 cents here for all of them. Even if he is a demigod, Io tells us later that he's still mortal, so f*** off. I created them. Liam Neeson isn't killing anyone in this scene. How long has it been? By my count, 17 years. I always knew Ray Fiennes and Liam Neeson would reunite after Schindler's List. I just thought it would be something more dignified than this. Like a Fast and Furious movie. Or some delightful British rom-com where a guy who owns a shop selling hats hates the guy across the street who sells ties, but they're both in love with the same woman who makes and sells the best toad in the hole this side of Stratford upon Avon. Father, we need the mortals. No, Apollo. Hades is right. The way this scene is set up, I'm surprised none of these gods have name tags. Just about every bit of dialogue contains a character name in it. Oh, sweet. Looks like they're taking him to that huge painting on the mountain. Awesome. We lost many men, Your Majesty, but we have victory. You were only supposed to cut down a statue of Zeus, right? So really losing any men seems like non-victory. The gods need us. They need our worship. What do we need of them? Good question. There isn't one second of this movie devoted to what the gods actually provide when humans pray. And there isn't one second of this movie devoted to what the gods were doing when humans stopped praying. It took knocking down a Zeus statue for anything to happen. Coming this fall to sci-fi, Refines is Thornado. Okay, so we're mixing Greek and Norse gods, and he's not playing anything like Thor, but Hades Nato just didn't have the same ring, you know? Well, how do the mortals even stand a chance against Hades? He can open his cloak and, I mean, he has the power to... He makes a bunch of sh** fly at you. In ten days, when the sun is eclipsed, I will unleash the croc. All this is happening within ten days of a solar eclipse? I didn't know a timeline could be both arbitrary and convenient, but here we are. Choose your penance, Argos. Destruction or sacrifice. Or they could just move. Have I heard his prayers? I don't know, but I'd love to see how that process works. Is it possible? If it's true you are the son of Zeus, you can save us. This crowd jumps to some serious conclusions. Hades looking at Perseus when he made the will of your father comment when it clearly sounded like he was just making a general statement is literally all they have to base their assumptions on. He's right. No one should have to die for me. Except maybe your mother, because she's the one who spouted off all the sh** 
that caused this all to happen. I guided you to your family. Maybe this is argumentative, but how did she guide him to his family? Did she have power over the so-called storm that led Spiros to the place where he found him? Or was she the one who turned the coffin into a buoy when it emerged from the bottom of the sea? And when Spiros found the baby, you said this. Perseus. If you were the person orchestrating all this, why would you say... Perseus. Like this? Wouldn't you be like, awesome, my magic worked, rather than saying... Perseus. Like a person who finally found the baby, as opposed to guiding his journey the whole time. I was cursed with agelessness. So much of a curse. Perseus would be amazing at cinema sets. Zeus? Did Acrisius think he could take out a god with a sword? Don't they have the equivalent of a Merlin, or at least a Q, that could invent some kind of god-killing weapon better than a f***ing sword? He ordered the execution of his wife and Zeus's newborn son. So wait, did they kill the mother and put a living child with her in the coffin? Or did they even try to kill the kid first? And did they seriously wait nine months for her to give birth before executing her? I've watched over you ever since, waiting for the day when you will help bring an end to the tyranny of the gods. It's been a while since I Greek mythology, but if I remember correctly, there are many demigods. So what exactly is so special about Perseus? You're telling me that Zeus hasn't pulled the Revenge of the Nerds sex trick a few other times? What makes you think the witches will tell us anything? Oh, they'll tell us. Or I'll kill them too. Okay, homeboy here has been a fisherman his entire life. He just got word that he's a demigod. I don't think he's ever been trained as a fighter. But immediately after he hears Io's story, he's absolutely sure he's an immortal badass. What is this? Just leave it. Movie turns its nose up to the 1981 original with a discarded boobo appearance. But then doesn't actually prove itself to be any better. Also, how is this movie not better than the original? Sure, that movie's entertaining with fun Ray Harryhausen stop motion effects, but it's not a huge obstacle to overcome. I mean, you're going up against a movie that has Harry f***ing Hamlin in the lead role, and you still leave as the worst version? Well, at least until Wrath of the Titans. My brother and I, we know how to kill. And be terrible comic relief in a movie that doesn't need any. We have an enemy in common. Zeus. But wouldn't Zeus be able to hear him say this? Hades was able to hear the crack about Andromeda being hotter than Aphrodite. Until I possess my full power, you will be my weapon. So is this just the Freddy vs. Jason plotline? Hey, if you're gonna steal, steal from something. So why does Calibus slash Acrisius look like this? Is this the underworld? Is he dead? And even if he is, what exactly killed him that made him look like this? Will this movie explain any of this nonsense? I believe I have an answer to that last question. Use this. <laughs> you f***ing what? I guess this is some sort of demigod killing magic? Did he have to transfer that orally? I'm not judging. Kill Perseus for me, and I'll destroy Zeus for you. Clash of the Titans movie turns into throw Zeus from the train. Also, I love Fine, but they really should have cast someone else in this role. He is not far enough removed from Harry Potter, and this is ripping off Harry Potter all over the f***ing place. Your motions should be fluid. The bullshit training in this movie, one little scene when someone gives total nonsense advice, somehow works. And we're supposed to buy it just because he's Demi Moore. I mean, a demigod. Precious. Precious. <laughs> That's racist. Also, I'm assuming the production meeting went something like this. We can't have a f***ing mechanical owl in this movie, but we can have a Pegasus, right? F yeah, a Pegasus f***ing prince money. The Pegasus. No man has ever ridden one. All you have to do is connect your hair braid thing in him and you'll be flying around with Zoe Saldana in no time. It's a message. They're watching us. And apparently helping Perseus. But why? Zeus gave Hades free reign to deal with the humans. And from what we can tell, Zeus knows nothing of Hades' deception. These gifts make no sense. I know this dude has got some of Hades' powers now, but why didn't he just wait until everybody was asleep? Calibos grabs Perseus by the head, and he sits there doing nothing for a full six seconds until Mans can save the day. Why the f*** is he running away? He just literally tore a dude in half. I don't even understand what he needs a sword for. So Calibos' blood turns into scorpions, which is real. <laughs> Also, try figuring out how many scorpions are in this battle. Since the heroes split up and that scorpion blood is everywhere, it could be anywhere from 5 to 10. But you'll never f***ing know. Just one long shot of the area, the number of scorpions, and where everybody is would do wonders. Also, also, why are they even sticking around to fight the giant scorpions? Run away, and if they follow you, then fight. Why risk losing your army over something that is posing a threat to no one at the moment? Also, times three, how is this not exciting? Because it's not. Like at f***ing all. A bunch of warriors are fighting giant ass scorpions and it might as well be a scene of people shopping for groceries. I owe ex machina. Dragon! So guys, I'm gonna pick this moment to go get some popcorn and candy, maybe even a slushy. If someone catches the spear and uses it in the next hour, let me know. This is their desert. It's not so convenient that they came to save the day, although yeah, it kind of is. But it's more convenient that they came just after the movie put in a big scorpion battle scene so it could pretend to entertain you for five minutes. Funny, this is exactly how I look when I'm trying to resist the urge to masturbate. What is it? Venom from Hades. Oh, it wasn't that bad. Tom Hardy 
party was kind of fun, and it was super ridiculous, but in the end... We must pray to the one who showed us our sin! I'm definitely not helping. A bribe for the ferryman. Seriously? Why does a ferryman need quarters? Is he saving up to buy a yacht? The Jin doesn't try to communicate to anyone before attempting the blue fire arm healing method, leading to yet another action scene that I want to jettison into the sun. The Jin have waited many years for the one who will free them from the gods. Good fucking god! Why didn't the Jin try to communicate this shit earlier to everyone? He could have at least tried to draw pictures in the sand before this turned into a misunderstanding. Also, a good thing a person who spoke f***ing Jin showed up randomly, or they would all be dead. Draco. Polo? Malfoy? Well, we need to make up for lost time. But the scorpions aren't moving any faster than anyone in this crew, so that's a waste of scorpions right there. When I spit in the eyes of the gods, then I'll smile. So Draco's plan is to give the gods hepatitis C? Who is it? Who is it? Sabrina, the elderly testicle face witch. The knowledge demands payment! Sacrifice! Sacrifice! Of course it does! Any excuse for this movie to go into a hyper-edited action scene will suffice! A titan against the titan! So the plan is to find Medusa, cut off her head, and use it against the Kraken. But how long is this whole journey taking? They only have ten days. And earlier, when they were in the forest, they said it would take four days to get to the witches. So now they need to find Medusa, cut off her head, and get back to fight the Kraken in another four days. Which I'm gonna go ahead and declare impossible. It's almost like they know the Pegasus is coming. She's no use against the Kraken. We can't control her. Then we take her head. How do you know her head will still turn people into stone once it's cut off? Why are the Jinn leaving us? They believe we will all die. It's the prophecy. And they're dicks. Also, Warner Brothers doesn't want to pay for any more of the special effects budget to keep them or the Scorpions around. Your blood is mine, Perseus. And that makes you a god. It's time you came to Olympus and started living like one. With the man that raped his mother? Sounds enticing. Tell me more. Kusuk fashioned this shield from the Scorpion. Scorpioc? Give me a f***ing break. This has got to be the laziest way to rename something that was obviously a scorpion. Next thing you know, they'll be fighting Sharkitas and giraffe animals. I know the way. Of course you do! Why does no one question Io just showing up, translating Jin, and knowing the answer to everything when they don't? Is it just boners? It's boners, isn't it? Also, the underworld is just a hop, skip, and a jump from this very spot. We'll definitely get back in time. Yay! Geographical convenience! Once again, the Jin knows something, but waits until it's dramatically convenient to reveal it. And luckily, the Jin knows the rules of the Funnel Fairy Butter Bar. Also, sure was crazy lucky that Zeus gave Perseus a coin before they came here. What would they have done if he didn't? Would they have needed to go on another quest to raid a vending machine? I forgot how much bullshit was in this movie. I get that this is supposed to be eerie and all, but it really just looks like a second-rate Disney ride. If they had an underworld land, this would be the equivalent of the People Mover. I cannot assist you there. The curse prevents me. You might have mentioned this to everyone before you actually made it to the River Styx. Feel her hunger in your gut. <laughs> Medusa's killed you twice now. Medusa shaming. Also, the bullshit training in this movie, one little scene where someone gives total nonsense advice somehow works. And we're supposed to buy it just because he's Demi Lovato. I mean, a demigod. Also, also, wouldn't everyone benefit from having this training? Ease your storm. Is this how they get those boners lasting more than six hours to go away? It's not working! We're nearing Medusa's lair. Salon, the great cock blocker. Trust your senses. And don't look this bitch in the eye. Perseus graduated from the Freddy Krueger School of Name Calling. Doesn't really inspire confidence. Oh, Salon, you. Here we go! This scene is so much the Balrog scene in Lord of the Rings, I'm half expecting Sir Davos here to say, Fly, you fools! at some point in the battle. High stuff. Yeah, because she can't move her face down to where yours is, right? Um, was Medusa ever known to have a bow and arrow? Wasn't the, you know, the whole turning people into stone thing her only weapon? Now you might be saying, guys, this is just a movie. And I say, welcome to Cinema Sins, I see you're new here. They should have just let this guy kill Medusa, since he's f***ing immune to the f***ing Medusa stare. If only men could enter her lair, why was this thing that is not a human man allowed? Also, f***ing head here explodes, and somehow Medusa manages only to get minor damage. Probably because this asshole let her in on the surprise before he blew up. Let them know men did this. There's virtually no reason Mads had to sacrifice himself here. But man. Is it ever dramatic? But seriously, nothing he does gives Perseus an advantage or weakens Medusa in any way. Now that Medusa is dead, it should be noted that none of Io's training did anything to help win this battle. Once again, a movie tries to make us believe that a guy like Calabas could sneak up on and crouch behind a goddess like Io, and no one would notice until the guy stands up. None of what we've seen from Perseus in this movie would make him a good fighter by any stretch. But here he is, keeping up with a guy with ten times more experience and infused with Hades fire vomit. Nice time to use your gift from the gods. Couldn't use it before every fucking person that was with you died because of something something. I don't want to use God things, but at least you're using it now. No way Perseus gets back in time. Oh, f the Pegasus. This is the Clash of the Titans version of the Lord of the Rings Eagles. Leave us.
Release the Kraken! Why did Zeus need everyone to leave before he gave the order to release the Kraken? Would they have stopped him? Does he think they wouldn't find out? Also, I understand zero motivation in this movie. Andromeda! It's my name they're calling. I don't even remember who you are. They could be expressing their love of a Kevin Sorbo show for all I know. We need the love of humans. No, you need it. I survive on their fear. Although the concept of thriving on abstract human emotions is never made quite clear by this movie at all, maybe we're surviving based on a good diet and not smoking. There is still a demigod in Argos, brother. Why the f*** did you tell him that? Hey look, it's Perseus on a Pegasus! Tell Pythagoras! I'll go tell the missus. Yeah! Did Perseus just haya this Pegasus? Can you haya a mythical creature to make it fly faster? So ends the eight minute screen time of the Kraken, which was the whole reason you paid money to watch this movie. And yeah, he f***ed some shit up, no doubt. That roar was terrifying, but to sit through this whole movie to see him go out like a chump? F*** you. Also, the whole plot of this movie suggested that only a demigod could kill the Kraken. But what if Perseus died in the underworld and only Mads was left? Are you telling me that Mads couldn't have shown the Kraken a Medusa head? That makes me incredibly balanced! Also, also, how does this Medusa thing actually work? It didn't work on the djinn, but it did work on humans. So why exactly does it work on the Kraken other than the movie just needs it to? Andromeda falls into the water, and as we see her plunge down into it, it seems very convenient that between edits, the movie forgot all about those heavy rocks that were following her on the way down. I'm a god. I will live forever. Not here. How did Perseus know that he could summon lightning to send Hades back to the underworld? Was that part of the conversation between he and Zeus that didn't make it into the movie's final print? The boats are coming for us. How did they even know where to go? Did the Pegasus tell them? I cannot be a king. I serve you better as a man. You can actually be both, but oh, why bother? Can we roll credits, please? It's mankind who holds the key to Hades' rise. It always was. Well, if you f***ing knew that, you went well out of your way to help him out. And if you insist on continuing this mundane human existence, I won't have you do it alone. Did Zeus make Perseus an I.O. F*** doll? Because it looks like Zeus made Perseus an I.O. F*** doll. Why is the movie called Clash of the Titans? If the gods defeated the Titans and the Titans aren't in this entire movie, then shouldn't it be called Clash of the Gods? Or just maybe never been made in the first place? You wear a dress and you have an animal sidekick, you're a princess. 13 years it's been, and yet here you stand before me as though it were only yesterday. You don't got me! You! Shame. 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 Good news! Good news, everyone! It's over, Anakin! I have the high ground! I don't know who you are. I don't know what you want. If you are looking for a ransom, I can tell you I don't have money. But what I do have are a very particular set of skills. Today, we celebrate our Independence Day. Are you a god? There are gods and there are men. Ray, when someone asks you if you're a god, you say yes! <laughs>